welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going to go back to August 1953, Muscle Power Magazine. How I Gained 19 Pounds in Two Weeks by Steve Reeves. Enjoy. There are two separate stories that Steve Reeves has shared about how much weight he gained on two separate occasions that I think confuse most of us and also make others skeptical. When Steve started training at Ed Yarick's gym in Oakland, California, he was only 16 and a half years old and weighed 163 pounds. After four months of dedicated training, he weighed in again at 193. That's a 30 pound gain in four months. Now, most people get this story confused with his 1950 Mr. Universe prep, where Steve mentions that he only made up his mind to compete four weeks or so prior to the contest. Steve had taken about a year's layoff from working out and he started to concentrate on his acting career. Hollywood mentioned that Steve was just too big and movie directors asked him to drop about 15 pounds or more for the camera. But it was during this four week prep prior to the Mr. Universe contest that he regained about 19 pounds of muscle slash body weight that brought him up to 217 pounds. He attributes this transformation in part to a change in his diet where he ate more. He also got 13 hours per night of sleep, intense full body workouts three times per week, and that he was an easy gainer. He also believes that muscle memory also contributed to his 19 pound transformation. Steve basically said that all he did was train, eat well, sleep and repeat. For a solid month, he did not engage in any other activities and he put a hold on his social life. When Steve trained, he would not concentrate on the lifting and lowering of the weight he was using, but concentrate on the muscle he was working and imagine it getting bigger as he worked out. He also used visualization before retiring in bed and he would imagine the type of muscular physique he would achieve. If you can't conceive it, you can't achieve it, was one of his quotes. So now, let's hear it in Steve's own words from this 1953 interview. When did you make up your mind to enter the Mr. Universe contest, Steve? About one month before it was to take place. I had already won the Mr. America and Mr. World events. These are the two top amateur crowns. However, to make my career complete, I decided I would like to try for the Mr. Universe title, which is the biggest professional crown. I made up my mind overnight, and the next day I took my first workout on the comeback trail. Just how long was your layoff? It was more than a year. I weighed around 198 pounds. I do not recall my measurements, but truthfully, I have never been too concerned with measurements. Working always for proportion and symmetry instead of the tape measure size. Did you break in gradually or did you plunge right into a tough routine? Well, for the first week, I broke in very gradually using very light weights. Did you make any progress that first week? Not in measurement or body weight. I didn't expect to. All I was interested in was to get back good muscle tone and to get set for the harder work the next few weeks. After this light break-in routine, 
what schedule did you follow? Well, I selected what I considered as being the best exercise for each part of the body, one for each major muscle group. Then I performed each of these exercises for 10 sets, 12 repetitions per set. I worked out fast, going right from one exercise to another. Even then, this routine took about three hours to complete. During this workout time, I also consumed considerable water to replace that which I lost in sweat, which poured off my body. I dressed very warmly during the workouts to eliminate as much as possible any muscular stiffness. Of course, I do not recommend such a stiff program for the average bodybuilder, for all I did was eat, rest, sleep, and train. I couldn't have done this if I had a regular job to take care of besides. How about your diet, sleep, etc? Well, I retired at 8 p.m. each evening and slept until 9 a.m. the following morning. I was careful to eat a well-balanced diet consisting of a large amount of high-protein food, large green salads, baked potatoes, a lot of beef, mainly steak. My diet included raw eggs, honey, bananas, cheese, dried and fresh fruits, and all wholesome foods which gave me energy and muscular body weight. So, it was during the second and third weeks that I packed on all my body weight, a solid 19 pounds. Did you change your training then? Yes, it was about time to leave for the contest. I traveled to London by plane and arrived there a few days before the event. Since I had gained all the weight I thought I needed, I spent the rest of my training days in lighter exercise, designed to give me more definition. For this purpose, I found cables handy to use in my hotel room and I took several workouts daily with them until the day of the contest. On the day of the contest, I weighed 217 pounds. I had taken one pound off, had trimmed down my waist a bit, and the cables had given me a lot of extra muscularity. On the day of the contest, were you confident of victory? I am never overconfident. I felt that I was in peak shape, but I also knew that I was up against stiff competition. Do you think you would have had a better showing if you had trained longer? I am sure I would have. I weighed as much as I wanted to, but longer training would have given me more definition with greater impressiveness under the posing lights. How did you feel about winning the title? Of course I was overjoyed. Winning this big event made me the only bodybuilder in the history of the sport to win the Mr. America, Mr. World, and Mr. Universe titles. As far as I was concerned, my bodybuilding career was complete with this clean sweep of these important titles. However, my greatest thrill was in meeting all the great international stars. Each one of them was a perfect sport, real gentlemen. I made many lasting friendships among them. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dream.